Hi all. So today we'll be learning about chaining selectors in Playwright with Python series. So what is chaining selectors in Playwright? So here we can combine two different types of locators or selectors uh, using this uh, this symbol. Okay, this angle bracket, two angle bracket. So using that, uh, let's say uh, we need to find a locator relative to the another locator so already you have learned about relative locator or uh, layout locator right so here what we are doing uh, I will show you an example uh, let's say uh, let's open here like the gmail.com so let's sign in here so for example you need to uh, find the locator of forget email okay but you are not getting correct something like that so what you can do like if I inspect it so for example this locator you need to get right but uh, you are not able to find this locator because there is no unique ID just imagine it okay so unique ID or anything related to that so you need to get this locator right so you can create xpath for that that is also fine or what you can do like you can let's say you are getting the locator of this one okay this part you are getting so after that you can chain it using those that symbol that uh, double angle uh, double angle code sorry double angle okay so angle sign so let's uh, go here so this is also saying in the documentation also they have written like when the selectors are chained the next one is queried related to the previous one's result okay so uh, I will show you uh, now what I'm saying or you will be able to understand it in very easy way so just let me open the code gen so playwright code gen and I'm using this gmail site and just take this one hit enter so it will open this playwright inspector and the browser okay so I'm clicking on it clicking on the sign in button and oops I think there is some timeout error let's do that once again maybe my internet is slow I'm not sure exactly uh, let's try that once again so let's click on the sign in button again yep it opens okay so um, see uh, if you hover over the sign in button you can see they are using this and the automatic generator is also using this uh, see this symbol right you might have seen in other uh, locator as well so let's understand it how it is working Go to the console tab and write playwright dot dollar and here so we can see like uh, to use it we need to I mean uh, first first we should know like what this located is getting created right so they are using first hashtag header heading text so that means it is a CSS selector which is heading text is a ID because hash is being used and then they are also combining another selector which is text equals to sign in so it is another different type of selector right so two different type of selector can be combined okay so let's go to the element option and let's inspect it so we can see we can use directly sign in as well right text equals to sign in that is also should be fine right but maybe it is not working because it is not unique so first let's try it text equals to Mm, double quote text equals to sign in see it is also working but as they have already used like the chaining locator so let's try that first okay so hashtag so from where it is coming so it is coming from here so this is the ID so h1 tag right so can write like h1 has to make it more specific 
although it is not needed and then we can use this one this angle brackets and then we can use text equals to sign in and hit enter so it's working right so this chaining locator is working fine right so we have uh, we have combined two different type of selector into one and get the uh, correct locator so maybe we can directly use this but maybe in some situations it is required to use this one so we should know that it is also possible in playwright like you can combine two different type of selector so that's the best thing like it is not like two uh, like it needs to be the same type of selectors right if it is like like if the first one is CSS then the second one needs to be CSS it is not like that so in many places it happens like we can get the xpath of some locator you can get the id of some locator so you can combine these both so here we can use xpath as well and here we can use css as well so that is also absolutely fine so whichever required you can do it another thing is like uh, if i show you uh, just instead of the i mean after this angle bracket if i just give double dot and hit enter so see it is giving you the parent element of this heading text so what is the heading text the heading text is this one so its parent is this right now to reach to the another parent i mean sorry and the grandparent so we can use another one so it's going to the going here and next if i go to this ancestor so this one maybe we need to find the locator of this part i mean this one the whole uh, frame okay so we can give another dot so we can get this locator so here you can instead of double dot we can use uh, a per particular selector like uh, null role equals to presentation that is also fine you can give xpath using that so that you can try it out and check it whether it's working or not okay i hope it is clear like how you can use these angle brackets in playwright and make your selectors so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe